Hey all, Turtle here coming back with more PSA returns. Uh, so today we have a whole mess of Hidden Fates cards to show off. I think there's a couple other random stuff, uh, but let's just get right into it. Beginning where we left off with Jesse and James. Um, yeah, I feel like, you know, it wasn't a very hard card to obtain. The pull rate was pretty uh, good as far as this card goes. Uh, but man, just a perfect art for these two guys. And you got Meowth and Mobafet there. And pretty easy to grade. We actually went perfect score. 10. 10. Maybe there's a 9 somewhere, but... Yes, 10s on 10s on 10s for Jesse and James. And... Uh, yeah, I feel like it's just a perfect art for them. So I'm really happy that they all got nice grades. We'll put these off to the side and let's keep going. Grab the rest of our first stack. And we got Giovanni, the other full art in the regular set. Uh, you know, it's not bad, but definitely nowhere near as nice as Jesse and James, but we did get the 10 for him as well. And two of them. So, um, yeah, now we don't have to worry about him. I don't think, I feel like I could, I would grade more Jesse and Jane just because I feel like it's a great, that's how good the artwork is. Um, Giovanni, I'm probably good on. All right, next we're going into some of the baby shinies. We got Ralts and PSA 10. So, you know, Hidden Fates, definitely my favorite modern sets. Um, just so much fun to open and the card quality was really good, at least in the initial waves. I feel like the last tin wave, maybe it was uh, some centering issues. All right, okay, not all baby shinies. We got the Gyarados, and this is from the 10. Uh, we did snag the 10. I do feel like um, these guys were a bit all over the place as far as condition goes. Sometimes they're nice and perfect like that one, and then more often than not, you know, centering, just um, prongs of death, that kind of stuff. All right, here we got the Frogadier, and this one we also got the 10. Let's move to the birds. As far as like tag teams, you know, there's so many possibilities, uh, but this is probably one of my favorites up there with like Reshiram. Uh, it's just the most iconic tag teams. Uh, I feel like it was just perfect and they did a good job with all the artworks and uh, yeah, I just can't say enough about it. And this one, unfortunately did get the mint nine, but I'm pretty sure I sent off a good amount of birds. All right, we got a full art supporter lady. Yeah, just so much good stuff in Hidden Fates. I forgot about the supporters. Fortunately, this one did get a mint nine. Um, not sure if I sent more ladies or may have to pick that up on secondary market. That one probably won't be too bad. We got another Gyarados from the tins. Another mint gem mint 10. All right, next we got Mewtwo. Even though this is not a shiny, still a really cool artwork. And we did get the gem mint 10. All right, so I think this is might be our, maybe our only detour away from Hidden Fates. Uh, so this is a Grookey from the, I think it's from one of those chests, those lunchbox kind of things that came with the starters from uh, the Galar region. We got Grookey at a 10. And then Score Bunny at a 10. And uh, so that's our first stack. We got two more to go. And we got to finish up the rest of the starters. So naturally. Sobble is next. And we got perfect tens, which is great. Now I don't have to worry about uh, picking up these chess promos anymore. And uh, yeah, just be done with it. Hit, let's continue Hidden Fates. We got the Baby Shrimp Wimpod, PSA 10. A very cute Rowlet, another PSA 10. So I feel like there were certain, um, actually, maybe uh, sometimes it feels like I keep pulling the same shinies. But it's like, oh, I pull, keep pulling grass types, metal types, and then psychic, and then all ralts. But it's like, actually, you're naming a bunch of types at that point. But clearly, I pulled a lot of ralts. And they had, all did get the 10, which is perfect. Another one which I felt I pulled a lot of, Scyther. Um, you know, Scyther's such a cool Pokemon. This card, I don't feel like it does it Scyther justice. And the shiny, oh, one of the more disappointing ones. It looks exactly like the other side there. Let's come back to the birds. So the first, the base art, we did only get a nine. The full art, we did snag the 10. Uh, even for, you know, this one's probably like my least favorite of all the different artworks, but even this one's pretty cool. Uh, this was back when full art was very like two-toned, like the Pokemon was 
the Pokemon I call it and the background is all solid color. Obviously we have three three Pokemon here, so um, this art is still pretty good as far as full arts go. Got more birds, another 10. And once again, oh boy, actually, we got a lot of these. So yeah, full art birds, another card I've seen to pull a lot of. What was that, five of them? All gem mint 10. So yeah, super good print quality. Uh, reminder, these cards took a year to get back and we did finally get that 10 for the bird. So the regular and full art down, two more to go. Here's another base and another one. And I already do have some of the promo, ETB promo, like best ETB promo, best tag team promo, uh, without a doubt. But uh, I'm not sure if I have the stained glass in this submission. All right, back to some more babies. We got a PSA 10 Rockruff, PSA 10 Riolu. And so I'm not actually sure how close I am as far as collecting the master sets. Um, once, once I'm done with this, I'll probably take all the hidden bait slabs and just uh, kind of organize them for just to make that master set and figure out what I need to finish up. I'm sure there's still like some stadiums or some supporters that I still need. But let's just keep on going. We got Pickle Rick Pseudo Wudo at a Gem Mint 10, a really cool card. And finally, we're moving on to some GXs. We got Galissapod coming in at boom, Gem Mint 10, perfect. Um, I feel like this is one of the cooler changes of color, but Glissapot I feel like just doesn't work that well, but I like kind of like the white, the white color. Same, similar, similar idea for like Alolan Vulpix and Ninetales. All right, we got the Guzma, very nice card. And it also got the Gem Mint 10. I believe the other Guzma I already have was a nine, or maybe that's Cynthia, I can't remember. Either way, now we know for sure we got Guzma taken care of. Let's see, another one I feel like I pull a lot of. We got a boy pull. We got a boy pull, another 10. And uh, yeah, apparently over a year ago, I just like, you know what? Hidden Fates, my favorite set at the time and still is. And I don't mind having duplicates, so let's just send all the cards that look like they might get 10s. Inke, this one I did not mind getting a bunch of because at the time, really enjoyed playing the Malamar. Uh, Malamar based decks, usually with Giratina. So plenty of Inkes there, PSA 10. We got a little ghost. Very cute. An Ultra Beast. Ultra Beasts don't do too much for me, and this is one of the stranger ones. Although maybe Blacephalon is the weirdest Ultra Beast. PSA 10 nonetheless. But yeah, such a good, uh, such a good like rate of 10s. Really happy with how these returns went. Uh, you know, for any modern card, when when you send it in, and you know, I guess at the time it was still like $15 a card, or maybe it was like 10. Um, but then when you get a nine, it just feels like, oh man, I didn't send the right card in and like the value is just gonna drop off. Here's that um, nine tails. I really like this one as far as, um... oh, wait, actually, is this really different? Who not? <laughs> well, anyway, one of my favorite um, Alolans for sure. We have Gardevoir, very nice. PSA 10, man, killing it with these hidden, this Hidden Fates return. Noivern, PSA 10. We got Megatron. Zygar GX also at a 10. Ah yes, finally. Okay, so the next, the Rainbow Birds. Um, you know, as far as like Rainbow Arts, I, I definitely like this one just because, uh, is this the only secret rare maybe? Um, but you know, the art is kind of faded in this rainbow. Like if you're not looking at it from the right angle, you can't even see the picture. Maybe you can't see the picture that well right now. But we did get the 10, so glad. Now at this point, again, I don't think I have the stained glass birds in this submission, but I already have some, so happy to lock up all the birds. Shrine of Punishment, probably the best stadium in the set, and we did get the 10. And all right, winding down to the last couple cards. Electrode GX with the 10. And last but not least, all right, it's just a Greninja. <laughs> But it also got the 10. Oh my gosh, this was crazy. Um, yes, it's all modern, but anytime you get a PSA submission and it's like a nine to one ratio of like tens to nines, whew, that felt really good. Um, but yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. That was boxes four, five, and six out of eight. And then I have another 150 card submission queued up after this. So I still have a lot of PSA videos to show you guys. Um, 
Yeah, as always, like, comment, subscribe all down below. Thanks for watching. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time.